Did you know that the world's most silent room is situated in Redmond at the Microsoft headquarters? Yes, it produces a sound of minus 20.35 decibels. Really silent. And also, hot water turns into ice quicker than the cold water. Did I get your attention? To all the trailblazers out there, welcome to the second episode of Death Talkies and I'm your host Nagar Kiran from APAC Developer Relations. Today, we have an exciting lineup of latest updates, interviews, tips and tricks, and a game show plan for all of us. So without further delay, let's meet Satya in What's in the News. Hello, Namaste, and welcome to What's in the News this month. In the platform segment, we'll bring you all the latest updates from the Salesforce platform. We'll start with the latest ideas that got into the Salesforce roadmap. We'll then check what are the latest features in Spring 21 release and we'll also cover the updates from the Salesforce CLI and the Lightning Web Components. We'll then see what's coming and what's happening for the Salesforce developers. We'll catch up with the events and then we'll also check the awesome work being done by our trailblazers in the community focus. Finally, we'll do a quick round of news items. The mobile extensions for Salesforce CLI are now generally available. You can deploy Lightning Web Components to a test app and preview it locally. If you haven't tried the mobile emulators yet, or if you are one like me looking for an easy to understand but short video tutorials, then you are covered. Check this playlist on Salesforce Developers YouTube channel. Salesforce Developers has published a playlist for Salesforce mobile tools. It has a video on how to install and set up a Salesforce mobile app emulator for Android. It also has a video on how to set up the simulator for the iOS. Finally, it has a video on how to use this emulator and simulator to build, preview and debug Lightning Web Components. It also shows how to link the Chrome and Safari developer tools. A new version of the mobile SDK 9.0 is released. It is on developer and productivity. This this announcement, then it's blog. This blog release highlights in detail. And you can also use new for iOS, Android or React apps. The Spring 21 release is almost there. Hope you already checked the release readiness live of Spring 21. If not, then the video is now available on demand. Let's now check some of the coolest features from the Spring 21 release. Did you try Spring 21 yet? If so, you would have noticed this trailhead icon here. Yes, it's a new edge and it's called the center. You can assign modules to the users so that they can quickly ramp up by learning through those modules. Not just that, even the in-app guidance has become powerful with Spring 21 bundled with more features. Source tracking is now generally available in all developer and developer pro sandboxes. This feature keeps your metadata changes synchronized between your local workspace and your org. You can pull or push the change metadata using four source commands. You can now try Sockle Builder Beta on VS Code. It is the best way to write the Sockle queries. You can build a query with clicks and then see the results next to your query. We are continuously adding features to it and what is latest is that you can toggle between the editor and builder with a click of an icon. The code completion is also improved and you can start it from the command palette. New Sockle fields function is generally available. It's a simple way to explore the data in your Salesforce objects. It enables you to designate a predefined grouping of columns that will be automatically returned in the result set of records. Not just that, you can also select all the fields once with this function. It's pretty much similar to get star in SQL. Open API 3.0 specification for REST API is now in the pilot. A specification describes what an API can do, how to consume parameters, authentication method that it accepts returns a result in a human or machine readable format. Check this blog to learn more about it. Also, don't forget to watch this Dream TX session for a demo. Do you use the component library in the playground for quick prototyping of your Lightning Web Components? 
then there is a bad news for you. And also there is a good news. Let's first check what is bad news. The component library will not be available in Playground from March 1st. Okay, then what's the good news? You can use a third party solution such as webcomponents.dev. Webcomponents.dev lets you build the components using various frameworks. You can build the component, push the code, publish the package and deploy it to a static website to demo it. You can build lighting web components using it. It has an LWC playground and demos of 70 base components. You can check the examples of lighting base components or create your own custom component using the playground. Let's now look into some of the event news. You can now register for Salesforce Live, Australia and New Zealand event. It is starting on 24th March. It has 9 episodes of 4 hours each, spanning 6 weeks and each covers sales, financial services, etc. It's now time for the community focus. In this episode, Let's see how our awesome trailblazers are selflessly helping other trailblazers to skill up. Apex House needs no introduction. It is a program of the community, for the community and led by the community. Whether you are a beginner starting with the Salesforce platform, intermediate or advanced developer, you can find free training or session on this website. At the top, you can see a blog, upcoming sessions, previous sessions, etc. Let's pour our free Salesforce training and check what we have for the developers. Here you can see an ordered list of sessions for a student to get started with Apex, tools, testing, integrations, etc. Do you want to get started with the CPQ? It has a collection of 22 sessions to get you started. Now let's hear from its founder Amit Chaudhary on what was his inspiration for this initiative and its success story. Hello everyone, my name is Amit Chaudhary. I am the founder of the Salesforce Epics Hour. Salesforce Epics Hour is a space that helps Salesforce experts across the globe to share this expertise with the Salesforce Ohana. I started Salesforce Epics Hour in 2016 and so far we did 300 plus session in the Epics Hour with three major uh, training program that include Salesforce Admin, Salesforce Developer and the Salesforce CPQ. Good news is that lots of person got their first jobs just because of this program and more than 8,000 plus students learn the Salesforce and enter into a Salesforce ecosystem. All the sessions are recorded and available on Apex Hour YouTube channel. I just want to say big thanks to all our speakers and uh, my co-organizer uh, Chikar Shah and Amit for helping me in this program. We will keep coming with the good content in Apex Hour. Keep watching. Thank you so much Amit, Chigar, Amit and all the contributors for whatever you are doing for this community. Let's now quickly check what's the buzz on the Salesforce Developers India Telegram channel these days. Salesforce Developers Telegram channel has launched a new series called Tuesday Trivia, where you get to test your knowledge in a fun way. Did you check the trivia this week? The latest Salesforce Developer survey is now open. You can help us identify trends and learn more about what our Salesforce Developers want. It takes less than 15 minutes. Please share your ideas for the best content through all our developer channels. One of the common asks from the developer community is a platform where developers can interact with each other. A platform where they can ask questions, share ideas, understand the patterns and learn the industry best practices from each other. This has given us the inspiration to start a voice chat on our favorite telegram channel, Salesforce Developers India. Here you can chat with developer advocates and also interact with other developers. This highly interactive voice chat session happened on 12th February and going forward it will be conducted every month. Please let us know what time works best for you and also what you expect more out of this session. In short is a weekly digest with enriched content and events that happen every week. Stay tuned for it every Friday. That's all in the news today. See you in next episode with latest updates 
Until then, keep trailblazing. Thank you so much, Satya, for all the updates. Love the Apex Hours. We fall, we break, and then we fail. But then again, we heal, we rise, and then we overcome. But there are some people who don't just stop there. They go on to impact and inspire a lot of people in their lives. And this is what is exactly Trailblazer community and the speaker today is all about. Let's welcome Neha Bharadwaj, Director of Solutions, Stack Nexus. Hey Neha, welcome to Div Talkies. Thank you so much, Kiran. It's really nice to be here. It's a pleasure having you here on the show today. Neha, you have such an inspirational story. Uh, I would I would love to have all the trailblazers listen to you today, but I'll get straight to the point here. Neha, you come from a very empowered family, uh, empowered women who were really educated and they were you know directing the family in your childhood. That is that is really uncommon in India. Uh, brilliant student, uh, you were very vocal about what you wanted. You had the freedom to do that. Um, you know you 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 got your job. You moved to Pune, and then that is that is when that is when you know the real life starts for you. You get married. Uh, how how was life after marriage, Neha? Okay, uh, so I got married into this family, uh, which was exactly opposite of what my parental family were. Okay. Uh, women's were women were loved here. They were respected here, but there was a different kind of environment. They weren't working. Uh, they were in that vocal. They they didn't have a lot of perspective on things. Mm. They were not supposed to laugh loud. They were not supposed to talk loud. Uh, they were supposed to wear twenty bangles each hand. Wake up four a.m. in the morning. Do all the household chores. So yeah, that was a that was a huge shift for me. Uh, I wasn't designed to do that. I wasn't uh, built to do that. Uh, trained to do that. But that's where I landed up, and I tried to cope up as much as I could. Uh, did you did you stop working after marriage, Neha? No, no, I did not. Okay. I I pushed myself. I tried to ba- make a balance between the both things. I tried to be a good bahu there, and I equally tried to be, uh, you know, a, go- a working woman who is who has a lot of uh, aspirations. I keep working, so I tried to make a balance between them. But I was absolutely struggling. You know, so how was your routine? In the morning. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was coming to say. So waking up 4 a.m. in the morning, uh, doing all the all the household chores, making breakfast, mm-hmm. getting ready for the office, coming back with a bag of vegetable and a bag of milk and laptop on my back, uh, and then coming after coming back, doing the dinner and everything else, and going to bed only when everybody else sleep in the house. It was difficult. It was extremely difficult. Absolutely. For me. Yeah. Seems like you had 36 hours in your day. Trust me. <laughs> uh, I, I I really I really hope had I had I had that, uh, but that wasn't the case. And due to all this, I developed an anxiety, mm-hmm. uh, a mixophobia, it is called. Um, it is uh, it lets you believe that you don't have enough time in a day or in your life. Okay. You're always running, rushing, and you're fearful that you'd not be able to complete your things. Time is running mm-hmm. too fast. And that's where my struggle started when I when I got this phobia. And again, with that came a lot of other health constraints. My health was deteriorating every other day. And finally, I decided to leave my job. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And how was how was life after leaving your job? Um, I I also know that you moved to the U.S. because your husband got an opportunity. So how did that go? Yeah, I, I started spending more time with family, uh, doing or living the life that they have always been lo- living, mm-hmm. trying to make everybody happy. Okay. Uh, and then while I was settling down there and uh, still struggling with the women inside me, uh, my husband got shifted to US. He got an opportunity there. Mm-hmm. And then again, it was a huge shift. I was trying to adjust already into an environment which was different. And now again, Move to a shift another place. Okay. where I was in absolutely a new set of people, uh, new culture, new environment, uh, nobody actually to talk to you the whole day when your husband is in the office. You're all alone, lying on your bed, uh, pretending to sleep, absolutely doing nothing. I was completely shattered at that point of time. I had no purpose in life. So yeah, that was a, that wasn't a good phase. 
that that's that's a real tough situation for anybody to get out of uh, but how did you manage that and you know who were those special people in your life who got you out of it that's a current that's true as you said you know you need some special people in life who who believe in you when you do not have faith in you anymore yeah. when you don't have that self esteem it require a few people to come and help you out and uh, amazingly you know this this uh, independent woman who's standing in front of you mm-hmm. she was pushed by three men in in her life three men uh, once my husband absolutely absolutely once my husband who has been absolutely progressive person he yeah. was always always pushing me to come back to work and to be honest not to leave my job in the first place he always pushed me to do better uh, start again uh, but i wasn't listening i wasn't sure if i good to start then my father he he wasn't happy with the things uh, with the way things were going he wasn't right. proud of me anymore uh, he said you know if you want to stay home stay home but be happy about it yeah whatever you do in your life just stay happy and that would make me proud of you sir absolutely but that wasn't happening again i was disappointing him and then came another person uh whom i met in 2010 when i started my job with persistent systems in pune you were his mentor right uh, yeah absolutely absolutely i trained him in java mm-hmm. he was a fresher mm-hmm. uh and this batch was supposed to be trained in uh, several technologies they were starting on salesforce apex but the base was supposed to be java so, so i was working with these you left your job because you had to move into a salesforce practice yes that is so so true 2010 i was put in a batch of people when the salesforce was you know just just it was just coming in the market mm-hmm. uh 2010 and i was put in a batch uh selective people of course were put in that batch mm-hmm. and i said no i won't do two salesforce no that's not something i want to do i'm such good at java i'm moving towards the you know architecting and designing the projects yeah. why should i do it i literally left my job there and i moved to another company in noida uh, and i started doing java okay okay that's so true so that's when you met this guy and you mentored him absolutely uh yeah as i said uh, i i trained him in java for a couple of months mm-hmm. and then i moved back to noida with my job mm-hmm. we were living our separate lives and in 2015 when i was all alone shattered he gave me a call uh, he was in new york he started his own company by that time he was doing absolutely great he was a salesforce architect awesome. and uh, when he came to my place he looked at me and i said you're not the same woman you mm-hmm. pretty much helped me one one time you gave to me now it's my time to give you back why don't you back? join yes yes absolutely so he offered me this job and i straight forward say no because i had no guts to start i had no self esteem as i said all the confidence was gone by then i was in the same women that i was a couple of years back so how how did you really get into this uh, it, it, it's a great comeback neha if i see the story today i see i see a lot of inspiration but how tough was it for you to come back again into 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 working it it really was and it took me these three people and not just these three people other people around me to help me come back to my work including my mother in law i had twins in the journey and wow. uh, you know when i when i started back when i eventually said yes to nick that i will work for you my mother in law came into the picture and she said okay go ahead be happy live your life i'll take care of your kids and um, that's what she's doing right now also my kids are outside and i'm talking to you so yeah heads off to her wow so this is your comeback and you you've done it and i also heard that you've handled a very complex project um on your first day uh, please tell us a little about it that's true that's true so uh i was given a data model uh to create i was i was essentially designing uh, a system uh on a very high level though but uh, yeah looking at it for the first time i was i was not sure if i'll be able to do it but within a day i did complete it without anyone's help and i was i was so happy i had it in me still so yeah that was that was really really good day absolutely you will never lose the skills which you have already got Sounds true. Such an inspirational journey, Neha. You've you've come back. You're doing great, uh, and you are in the Salesforce ecosystem, supporting the Trailblazer community through journey to Salesforce. Right? These are job aspirants, 
and you have done a lot of sessions in the journey to salesforce initiative please tell us your experience there how did you come into the community with what purpose and what what have you realized now that's an interesting story there and so uh, i came into community or i was introduced to community uh through kishore uh he is he was mvp at that point of time and he introduced me to the bangalore developers group and i was in that group for myself not to give to the community to start with i was trying to explore how i can do better uh how i can improve my skills where where do i go from here now and i was all about me myself uh how do i you know i was absolutely self centered honestly it was all about me my growth my learnings by that point of time and then uh journey to sales was came into the picture kishore offered me or asked me i'm sorry kishore asked me that uh, if i want to be a mentor in journey to sales for us looking at you you're technically strong you should try that and i said yeah no why not let's let's give it a try it's it's different i'll i'll do it let's see what i learn from it so that was the perspective i and i was luckily chosen as one of the mentors uh, thanks to the team and from there everything changed for me okay how have things changed for you after this uh, neha how have things changed yeah yes yes i i honestly i realized uh, that it's not about just yourself it's not about you don't learn just by feeding yourself you'll have to give back you'll have to you'll have to share what you have learned through and the more you share the better it goes i was being very selfish i was being very self centered just focusing on myself and while i was working with these j2s aspirants uh, a couple of them contacted me outside the sessions mm-hmm. and they were seeking some help mm-hmm. and i was trying to help them as much or work with them as much as i could or time allowed a couple of uh, months after i started doing that a woman came back to me and she said you know she has grabbed a job back wow. in salesforce ecosystem now now that yes. is satisfaction that is a lot of yes. satisfaction yes honestly and kinan i was looking at her from from where i was a couple of years back i mm. could relate i could see where that happiness was coming from and and how excited she would have been and i was living my moments again through that lady Absolutely. and that's when i realized that you know why to live that moment just once or twice why can't i just keep doing that and 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 live that moment again and again through these people so that that i think that was the defining moment for you neha uh, let Absolutely. me tell you one thing your journey has just started and you're such an inspiration you're going to be such an inspiration to a lot of people around you in the trail blazer community and even outside this and i'm pretty sure of it uh you have the potential you've come back strong after a, after a crisis and that that says a lot about you neha and you know we are really happy that we had you on our show today here because a lot of people a lot of women in india and all around the world will relate to you and your story thank you so much for being a part of the show today thank you so much kiran thank you so much for having me here let's go to aditya for an interesting technical tip It's now time for a quick tip. In this tip, I'm going to show you how you can access the value of a JavaScript property in your CSS file in Lightning Web Components. Take this use case. You've built a reusable component and you want the styles of that component like background color or text color to be configured by an admin using the app builder. Here, I'm assigning black as the background color and white as the text color. So, how would you do this? First, of course, you would create two JavaScript properties and decorate them with the API decorator and then use the meta file to expose these properties to the app builder. In order to style your component based on these values, you would use JavaScript to query for the element and then apply the style using .style.styleName and assign the JavaScript property value to that. While this works, it is not the most elegant way to do this. first this is slower and second in case you have more elements in the future that you want to apply the style to you would simply have to query all of those elements using the query selector which again makes it further slower the answer to this is to use css custom properties they are nothing but variables in your css file 
All you need to do is declare these variables in your CSS file. Here I've declared two properties, one for the background color and one for text color. And in all of my CSS classes, I'm using the value of these CSS custom properties. The syntax is var, and in brackets you put the name of the CSS custom property. Now, how do I assign the JavaScript properties value to the CSS custom property? You would actually do it using the same JavaScript syntax, but instead of selecting every individual element, you're going to just select the place where you've declared the property. Here it is the host. So you would say template.host, dot style and you would use the set property method and you would pass the property name and property value you can use the same concept to style base components to style base components we have exposed styling hooks which are nothing but css custom properties so in case you want to change the color of in this example it's a badge if you want to change the background color of the badge you would find the relevant styling hook and then use the same set property syntax in order to set the value of the styling hook to that color. And that is how you style your components based on JavaScript property values. Hope this tip was useful. The next speaker in the spotlight segment today is somebody whom I've met in person a couple of years back. He's a foodie. He believes leaders should not have separate cabins. He lives in the heart of Mumbai and a Mumbai at heart. He leads a practice of 1500 Salesforce developers in his organization and also fondly known as the people's leader there. Let's welcome Manish Motwani, Managing Director, Deloitte. Hi Manish, how are you? I'm good Kiran, how are you doing? Thank you for I'm having good. me. I'm good. It's a privilege. Thank you so much for being here today. Manish, you have a very interesting childhood story to share. Please share it with us. All right. So uh, I was born in Calcutta, right? Uh, and uh, after being 40 days old, I was flown to Mumbai. Mm -hmm. I have never, ever gone back to Calcutta. I've okay. been living in the same apartment since the past 45 years. Wow. And my friends uh, are my friends for the past 35 years. The interesting part is that none of my friends, right, mm -hmm. are from the IT industry. They are all businessmen. And when mm -hmm. you have a conversation with them, right, they bring out the perspective that what it takes to make a business successful. Right. And that is something that has really helped me as a leader to think about business, right? And how do we make this successful? Right. Absolutely. And I also heard you have a 13-year-old son, uh, son. Yeah, I know where this is going, but uh, don't take my white hair for my age. Uh, I got uh, married when I was a child. And, uh, <laughs> you know, Hope your wife is not I... listening right now. I hope she doesn't uh, listen to this recording either. But you know, when it's right, it's right. What's the use of waiting? We'll make sure this reaches to her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Tell me this, Manish. Are you still a developer at heart? I know you're a leader. I think that one should always be a developer at heart. Okay. Hmm. I, uh, I firmly believe that the minute we stop learning is the minute we become obsolete. So true. I would tell our uh, developers that, you know, continuously learn, right? right? And continuously learn what is the new things that are happening. Learn how to code efficiently. Learn right. the new design pattern. Right. Because when you're talking to a client and a client brings you a problem, right? As mm -hmm. a developer at the back of your mind, you're already thinking of the solution. Absolutely. And you can yeah. then advise your client that, hey, this is going to be a huge customization. And, you know, it's going to lead to a very good or uh, very high right, total cost of ownership. Right. That is when you will win the heart and mind of the client and you will have him for life. Absolutely. But my advice to the Trailblazer community is that while you keep learning these new technologies, right, don't forget the industry knowledge as well as the domain knowledge. I would strongly advise that try and aim to become the CEO of an organization, not the mm -hmm. CTO of an organization. That's a wonderful advice. Thank you so much for that, Manish. It makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Which which brings me to my next question. Um, you know, I met you in person a couple of years back. Mm -hmm. I've seen you roaming all around the floor, making friends with people, sharing food, sharing a laugh there. Mm -hmm. What do these people mean to you? I think they mean everything, right? Uh, in the in our in IT industry, the mm -hmm. only asset that we have is the human that we are working. Right. And uh, I think we need to break these designation walls, 
that are there in every organization when i roam around i try to get to know the person better right i also try to become approachable to him so that tomorrow when he has an issue an aspiration right a concern mm-hmm. he doesn't feel any you know resentment or anything towards the organization and he knows that there is somebody there who can listen to me so he and he comes up to me and talks to me about what the problem at hand is i right. know what the organization goals are as a leader right and then i can try and match those and create a win win situation for us i firmly believe that i as a leader have a responsibility of grooming the future leaders within the lord so i roam around try and say, tell them that hey a leader is not somebody who you cannot approach we are here to help you and we are here to help you grow absolutely that that's some that's some very good leadership advice for people out there and now a million dollar question for you Deloitte in the recent past has become really active in the trailblazer community in terms of conducting hackathons sponsoring community events and also your developers were part of our developer webinars too thanks to people like rupesh sagar and nishi as well uh they are the torch bearers of this movement what's your take on that so first of all i wanted to say thank you right kiran because uh, you all have given our platform to our developers to come and express themselves to the community absolutely I think that uh, you know I was seeing this movie Pearl Harbor and uh, there's a statement in that is that there is nothing stronger than the heart of a volunteer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And an internal uh, joke that we have going on is that when Rupesh gets his next child whether it's a boy or a girl he's going to name them Mark. Mark Bartia. Right uh, because he's so yeah because he's so much in love with this uh, Trailblazer company. Absolutely. We love him too. <laughs> so, yeah. But on a on a serious note right I think that uh, this uh, community needs to thrive right only when this community thrives right well every individual within thrives. right and my uh, request to the entire community is to come together because the problems of today will not be the problems of the future absolutely what our clients are facing today will not be what they are facing in the future and they will look on us to solve their problems right and believe me that no one person or no one organization will be able to solve everything right. but coming together as one right learning from each other will help us you know meet those problems and actually do a more efficient and quicker solution yeah. and hopefully hopefully we don't reinvent the wheel absolutely so uh, while we are doing these uh, you know sessions my uh, commitment to the community is that deloitte will not only increase its participation but will also help grow and mature this community the benchmarks that we have today have to continuously move upwards because the challenges that we will be facing will be also more complex and as well as it will take all of us together to solve them. absolutely the more more united we are the stronger we are i totally agree with you on that manish so to that effect right what we're trying to do this year is that we did the hackathon as you said right last year we're trying to do a virtual hackathon this year where we will be inviting this entire community to come and participate so watch this space for more <laughs> absolutely thank you so much for that manish uh another question for you what is what is that one advice you would want to give uh, to our trailblazer community i mean our salesforce developers and the and the other salesforce people in the ecosystem I would uh, definitely say that uh, be flexible right mm-hmm. that is my advice because uh, you know 2 years back we were trying to learn about lightning today right. the challenge is einstein tomorrow it will be blockchain right mm-hmm. and wa- we need to be in a position that we are flexible enough to learn whatever challenges come our way because right. the the client environment right and the ecosystem and the competition is changing you know on a daily basis right and our clients are going to look at us like as advisors that how do they get the competitive edge right and technology is going to be the backbone of success as we go into the Absolutely. future and with if we can marry this technology as i said earlier right if we can marry this technology to an industry and to a domain mm-hmm. i think that is going to be the secret sauce for success in the future as you said earlier um, you know think of being a ceo not a cto because you know you you get a holistic view of what your customers problems are and you can build solutions accordingly right right absolutely thank you so much manish for being the part of dev talkies today it was great having you here you know lots of useful conversations that we had as part of the show today uh, hope to have your team 
you know grow from 1500 to 3000 one day very soon mm-hmm. and meet you again thank you so much for being here thank you so much kiran for having me It's game time. Let's see what Aditya has got in store for us in the game show segment today. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the game show segment. I am your host Aditya and today we are going to play a game of Pictionary with our guests Neha and Manish. Neha and Manish, you're going to need partners to play this game. So joining team Neha is Kiran and joining team Manish is Satya. Welcome everyone to the game. Okay, so I'm hoping all of you are good at drawing. Just try. Just your hope. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'll be the judge of that by the end of this. <laughs> hope is always best. <laughs> yeah. So, um all the best to all of you and all the audience watching us today. Even you get to play along as well. Um so put in your guesses to everything that our contestants draw and the person who guesses most number of words correctly before our contestants Uh, gets to win and the winners will be announced on telegram and twitter by the way what will be the prize aditya no prize uh, the the prize is bragging rights uh, you get to brag okay. about this as much as possible and there might be other perks <laughs> you might be invited for our next dev talkies episode you never know so play along and try to win neha let's okay. do it <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely all the best everyone okay so yeah manish we are also set yeah winning this set So this game is going to have two rounds and the team with the most number of points at the end of both the rounds is going to win. And let's get started with the first round in which one person from a team is going to draw and the other person is going to guess. And if you are able to guess correctly, your team gets 10 points. And all the words from this round are going to be related to Salesforce. Okay? Okay so I'm going to start with Manish okay so your time starts now lightning bolt service time's board. up time's up time's up guys flag? time's no. up a flag and a door yeah looks like yeah somebody's trying to enter inside A cat. A cat is trying to get inside. It looks like a horror movie, then. Creepy. It's a lightning web conference. Hands up. Actually, it's a really nice effort. Uh, Satya, you should be able to guess this. <laughs> oh. Aditya, are we not running out of time? Community. Okay, so time's up. Um, I've given you forty-five seconds, so we'll do the same with everyone. Um so Manish reveal oh. the answer to Satya It's lightning app builder Nice oh. Nice it is nice. it's been a good effort And you you, nice. you look at the biceps on the person Manish drew <laughs> builder. body building Yeah <laughs> builder Yeah like, I don't know how to do it looks great Manish <laughs> Nice nice try Yeah really good effort actually <laughs> Okay so you don't get any points and so that means Who's going to go next? Um Neha, it's you. You're going to draw and Kiran is going to guess. I'm sending you the word right now. Aditya, just send the word across to me. It'll make our job easier. We can save time. Why why don't you take all the points then? <laughs> It's just one <laughs> word. <laughs> I'll send you the whole question paper. Kiran, there you go. It's that's the first thing. Cloud. Oh my God, Kiran, Cloud. Kiran. Sales yes. Cloud. Sales Cloud. Yes. No. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. Uh, uh, Commerce Cloud. Batman, Batman actually. Uh, this is this Batman. is this is cheating. This is cheating. Yeah. <laughs> this is cheating. This is Batman. Yeah. This is Batman. Oh. Oh. Batman. Oh, I'm not able to draw you guys. See, it's no. a factory. You, Now the cloud yeah. begins to work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I can feel. Cloud. I can see that. It's, it looks yes, like a factory. Yes. Yes. You're done. You're done. There you go. This is this marketing cloud. Why is this right? See, when when you see the cloud. It means you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great opportunity for you to go with all the clouds, you know. 
ಸತ್ಯ Uh, to come back on the lead i'm sending you the word your time starts okay. now okay kiran let's help them guess now yeah what are they drawing let's let's help them. yeah satya has to draw drawing i i hope you're joking neha my god uh, yeah, no i'm not see uh, these are grains spread all over yeah that's your cat's food on the floor yeah that's a table on which your cat was sitting absolutely uh, neha in yeah. hopes of disturbing them don't reveal the answer <laughs> Oh is it? <laughs> no I'm not going to do that. Actually I'm not yeah. Yeah that that's the bowl from which Audience, the bowl from which Are you guessing it? I I hope you are looking at the chat window. I I guessed it. Shipping I guess the audience are guessing. I think yeah. uh, sail shield ship it's a ship. Yeah, oh actually oh, Satya is also very close to what he was saying. Time up your time up. ಸಾಂಡ್ Yes. It's a good try. But why yeah. did you have a boat? Why did Oh, he's, yeah. he's drawing a beach. I just said there is the beach. No, see, no I, I just yeah. Oh, beach lovely. and all. So I I just try to draw I sand and we get full points for drawing. Yes, I think we get full points for drawing. Okay, not for guessing but for drawing we get full. Yeah, but Manish and Satya both drew perfectly. So I'll give them 10 extra points maybe. What? Now that's not done as is giving the answer Aditya. Okay it's fine yeah. so you're not guessing you're not giving answers you're not guessing answers So Kiran now it's your turn to draw uh, we'll see if your skills of drawing are as good as your guessing okay. Kiran your time starts now mm-hmm. I'm really curious to see how you draw this wow. Oh the buffalo is good Dead. Hey looks Dead like that guy from buffalo is uh, having no side squad Deadpool. Okay Deadpool. Oh my god Okay Is that a persona? Yeah, oh, is is that a person? Hey, is that a real person? Kiran looks like a pop Check singer. Check it out. Check it out. Who does it look like? Who does it look like? Pop singer. Oh God, I don't know. Justin Bieber. <laughs> no, I I can't. Don't say it's like Salesforce by the way. No. So it's a Salesforce person. Who does it look like? like White Walker from Game of Thrones. There's a beard. There's a mustache. There is short hair there. Who does it look like? I'm trying to name them so sorry. Don't give all the hints. Uh-huh. He didn't say it all out. Yeah, but yeah. you more hints can give more hints. I want to put a protest. He's talking while he's drawing. Yeah. 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 Hey Manish no you I'm, know I'm not able to guess I'm, it anyway. I'm appealing to my teammate. Okay so by the way you by the way it's more than 1 minute. Yeah, yeah, so, I don't know. Okay. Time so, is up. Oh. Time is up Kiran. Neha Aditya Aditya you know played uh, played, unfairly <laughs> played unfairly with us it was me Nag Kiran Maniala. <laughs> oh no that's why that that's not done aditya i don't know she is supposed to draw <laughs> i never saw someone drawing himself so yeah, bad you should have drawn a sun and then yeah, yeah they can do that i don't know <laughs> i'm going to frame yeah. this and give it to yeah. you kiran <laughs> well tried <laughs> i don't know questions are fair don't blame the questions so yeah. Your team is leading with uh, 10 points um, at the end of round 1. So in round 2 it's what I call rapid sketching where one person is going to draw like always uh, but this time in the same 30 seconds that you have you're going to have to draw and get your team member to guess as many words as possible. So I'm going to send you a list of four words. you have to start drawing the first word and then the other person has to guess and immediately after the person guesses you start drawing the second word and so on so in that 30 seconds time frame you'll have to make sure you are able to get your partner to guess all four words sounds easy neha let's do it sure and importantly most importantly the words in this round are going to be related to the apps 
and products or softwares that okay. you use on a day to day basis so you are looking at those logos daily so try to draw those logos and the condition is you should not draw alphabets you should not draw letters i mean alphabets and numbers are not allowed so just draw the logos i've made sure all the words don't include letters as a part of their logo so no letters allowed who should i start with let's start with satya your time starts now what's this satya okay satya is nice. trying something guess guess manish whatsapp telegram yep. Yep, yep, yep. Satya knows. Only Satya knows. WhatsApp is correct. Okay. Are we already running out of time, Arjya? No, we are not. Don't worry. Okay. We are seeing. We are looking at Satya's drawing skills. Time is up. Book what cut. What is that? Book try, try, try. We already got the second cut. word. Okay. Yep. Not okay. the exact logo I was expecting, but uh, a good try. <laughs> okay, so time is up. Um, so Satya, you have to stop drawing. Yeah, I stop. Okay, drawing. you have Manish has guessed two words, so you have sixty points right now. So now it falls onto Manish to draw and then get your team score up. So try to draw as many as possible. If not, Kiran and Neha have a high chance of beating you. And I'm starting your timer. Your time starts now. Google. This Google. is an alphabet. That's an alphabet. Google Maps. Come on. See, yeah. this Google is not done. Google yeah. Maps. Okay. Aritya, I think this 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 one should be disqualified. It, it's it's okay. fault of host. Google what does what have kind, alphabets. What kind of a game host are you? Red you just told that we are not allowed to use. Yeah, I am the fair Red kind. Head. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Okay. Second one is trailhead. See, Looks you like drew a cloud and you guessed all the clouds. Service cloud. cloud service yeah. cloud. Apple. 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 Yep. Correct. Okay. Time is up. Aditya. Yeah. Let's wait for them, Aditya. Let us let them draw and let them guess, and you give another thirty points to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay don't worry i will also give you equivalent time i'm fair i'm a fair judge so don't worry so you got 3 right yeah you yeah. got 3 so you have 5 in over, uh, overall so you have 150 points you're back you're so not Kira, bad not bad it your team is at 10 points okay you have to get 140 points to win so you'll also have to guess 5 your team um, has to guess 5 Okay so Kiran your time starts now There you Okay cool You you is alphabet What YouTube, are these YouTube 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 okay, it is You drew G he drew U that's YouTube it YouTube it is one is to one Balanced it's balanced Hey that way Google Google has G in it huh? you can't say that Google doesn't have a G in it <laughs> YouTube doesn't have a U in it Bye it's YouTube <laughs> What is the second one? Kiran, you are very poor at drawing, man. What is this? His kids, his kids book. Come on, guess, guess all the Google products. Ur- Urvashi, 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 Urvashi. Urvashi. Can we erase this? I don't can know. Can we clear the screen, please? You can hit clear frame. It's right there on top, Kiran. <laughs> okay, good. Cool. I didn't want to waste time. And there, you wasted enough time. Hey, time's up. It's already th- hey, 35 Aditya. seconds. You are in grace. You have 10 more seconds. Yeah. Hey. Oh, that's it. You're done. Oh. 10 more seconds okay. where it's yeah it looks like telegram my wife's yes, wallet telegram yes telegram yes. it's telegram it's telegram what is that telegram it's telegram how guys how is that telegram oh, god we no. understand each other god <laughs> hey they are sending each other on private zoom <laughs> time is up hey time is up aditya 10 seconds are done time is up kiran yeah time is up kiran i can't believe what you are doing please show me your keyboard i need to know you are not sharing the answers with neha <laughs> Kiran, if you don't, if you don't do this during your childhood, you'd have got something from your teacher. I know that for sure. No, I mean, how is the how is the let, left let drawing telegram? I don't know. The logo doesn't yeah, look exactly like this that. This is the telephone inside it, right? That's the receiving end. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, the WhatsApp was already down, so telegram is the only one left. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Hello, by That's the way. That's a telephone. Yeah. Like a telephone. And, 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 and WhatsApp was already guessed. WhatsApp was already guessed. 
Yes. I would never. Yes, yeah, I, I wouldn't have judged it. I wouldn't have recognized it. Yeah, that is easy. No, this is not nobody telegram. will understand you this. You guys are pinging each other on private chat. <laughs> come on, Neha, let's do this. Neha, you're a designer. Okay, come on. Your time starts now. Is it Twitter? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, 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 good. Okay, cool. Next. That is fine. Banana, banana, no. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, 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 good. Okay, cool. Next. Okay. I, I, I sense, I sense cheating here. Not at all. But okay. Not at all. It's my beer glass. Is it a glass? Yeah, my beer glass. Is it water? Move to the next one. Next, 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 next. Hiroku, Hiroku, Hiroku. That is. Aditya, you're not looking at time. Time's Why up. Why bed is or what? No, time? even I'm even I'm curious. What is she drawing for the word I sent? So <laughs> that should tell you, no? Don't worry. <laughs> you got four answers right. So you are at one thirty. Manish and Satya's team is at one fifty, and are the clear winners of oh, today's no. Pictionary. Yeah. But, but mathematics. Aditya, it's called mathematics. Did you know that but Manish marginal used, used the alphabet G? For Satya to guess. Because in Google, Google Maps, my friend, G is there. Go look at the thing. I'm drawing the logo. So that that was any yes, balance, Kiran. That See, is Aditya's used, fault. Aditya said that he's not going to give any logos with the alphabet that, in it, and he gave. <laughs> yeah, that is balanced with YouTube. Okay, so Google Maps, it doesn't have a G, by the way. It's just the pin icon. Then, so, but then I still gave it to them. If you take out those thirty points, we are the clear winners because they're at one twenty and we're at one thirty. Wait, Kiran. Even you drew YouTube, yeah. and YouTube also doesn't have any letters. Now you are at ninety. Play icon. We can get the master. And you drew eight for you. But you don't you. I own you. Yeah. Who's how does it matter? So you is in English alphabet. And so that way, alphabet and this alphabet is negated. You drew an extra alphabet, which is why I disqualified that alphabet. So I'm fair. But in any case, uh, it was a wonderful game from everyone, and as you've seen. Manish and Satya have won the game, and audience, yeah, I yeah, hope yeah, you've been you. playing yeah. really well uh, because we've been looking at the chat. And those of you who were able to guess the answers before our contestants, we will give out those winners' uh, details on Telegram and Twitter soon. So stay tuned, join our Telegram channel, and meet you next month with a brand new game. Wow, I loved it. Thank you so much Aditya for yet again coming up with a cool game show for us and the guests. It's Satya's turn now for an interesting technical tip. Hello again and it's tip time. Today I'll show you how to enable and disable the debug mode right from your Visual Studio code. You can use tools like Chrome Developer Tools to debug your components during development. But one important point to keep in mind is this has a significant performance impact so it is necessary that you enable the debug mode only when it is required again changing the debug mode from the org setup frequently is little annoying so let's see how we can do that from the visual studio code here we are in a project where i have written an anonymous apex script within the script slash apex folder here we are getting the current user and updating user preferences user debug mode pref to true. Let's run this code and see what happens. Let's now open the default org. And here you can see that the debug mode is enabled. And also, if you see the debug mode in the settings, the checkbox is checked for the current user. Let's now go back to VS Code and disable the debug mode by setting this value to false. 
Let's run this once again and check how it worked. It looks like the debug mode is disabled. Let's check in the settings. Here you can see that the debug mode is disabled. There are various other user preferences that you can set. To learn more about it, you can check the user object documentation in the object reference for Salesforce and Lightning platform. Not just that, you can also set the development mode for the Visual Force pages using the user preferences Apex pages developer mode. You may check this guide for more such preferences. Let's now see how this works. Let's copy this setting, go back to the VS code and paste it here. Let's save it and run the script once again. Now the development mode option must have been enabled. Let's go and check. Here, I'll click my username, click settings and then advanced user details. Now you can see that the development mode is set to true. We hope this tip was helpful. Please let us know. Thank you Satya for the tip. If you want to go ahead and access all the technical content that has been shared as part of the episode today, please click on this bit.ly link to get into the trail mix and you'll find everything you want there. On this International Women's Day, Good Universe is coming up with a virtual walkathon. Good walk. Ek kadam, ek pehel. This is going to happen between March 1st to March 7th. Three things that you need to take note of. Number one, they are supporting 5,000 marginalized women with sustainable menstrual products. Number two, they are also planning to save 1.2 million used pads from going to the landfills. Number three, they are also saving 5.4 million rupees to go ahead and financially assist these women. Now, please go ahead and visit the website goodwalk.gooduniverse.org and register yourself there. They are our women. Let's support them and let's work for them. I hope you've all enjoyed yet another round of knowledge, inspiration and fun. Until next episode, stay safe, write code and do good. This is Kiran signing off with love.